I'm Amy. I'm living in Chrysalis. And I'm doing another look with my Rebel Rouge Labs. Losing my religion palette. Let's get to it. Like how I have the scrunchie on my wrist. So very 90s. Welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. And um, yeah, I've got to get going. I've, I'm uh, substituting for math for an afternoon in high school. So of course I probably won't know a whole lot. <laughs> That's all right. Mostly just to make sure nobody gets killed. Okay, well, um, I'm breaking back into my Rebel Rouge Les Losing My Religion palette. And um, yeah, I'm excited because I really liked the look I did with this before. Well, the looks I've done with this before, I've got two videos up, but I actually did this look a day that I didn't have time to film, and I really liked it, so I'm going to do it today for you. Yes, those are still construction noises, but if you like what you're seeing, or you want to give it a chance, or, you know, whatever reason, please make sure to like and subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I gotta get moving, so let's get right into the look. Now, like I've already said, um, this palette doesn't really have anything that I would consider a setting shade. I do have um, Urban K Primer Potion on, so I'm just gonna apply right on top, and I'm going into Corn Flake Girl, which is a nice, bright, oh, it's like a slightly reddy coral color, which I thought would be fun with the shirt I'm wearing today. It's not an exact match, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just swipe at this. Oh, um, I am planning a discussion about how different brushes work for me because I was asked to. I know, right? A lot of people say, oh, somebody asked me about this, and that's not true, but in this case, it is true. Um, but not today because I don't have time. Here we go. I'm trying to just start feathering it a little bit up here, especially given that um, given that there's no setting shade. So, and of course, transition is just not something that happens with me. I, I have no transition area. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go into doll parts which is the color I would consider the workhorse of the palette. It's a, it's a taupey brown, but I don't know. There's something like a, just, there's something just very slightly different about it. It's re and the difference is quite subtle. So it can be hard to pick up on. And can I just say how absolutely grateful I am that, uh, they did not waste any space with putting a stinking black in here. I am so over black eyeshadow. I don't even use it much, except, I don't know, maybe to deepen something up if I can't think of anything else. But, but, nah. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, I don't want this to be too extreme. I am subbing for high school after all. Well, yeah, I'm subbing for public school. So, you know, there you go. So I will have to blend this out some to mitigate the awesome. <sighs> Darn society. Bleh. Okay, I am going to take my It Cosmetics Planning Blush and just tap it down a bit. Hopefully not too muddy. No, seems to be going all right. There we go. I mean, red, you know, reddish eyeshadow is always a risk, but, oh, well. Wow. 
it actually looks stronger on camera than it does in the mirror here, so I think I'm okay. I'm going into Wyland because of course I am. This is another sort of workhorse color. It's so pretty. I mean, I have seen similar shades in other palettes, but I still appreciate the placement of this color here. Kind of deepen it, make it look a little less. Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Make it look a little more mature, I think is the word I want. So going into Wyland. No, I went into Wyland. I always get clumsy when I'm in a rush. So I'm going to finish off with Baby Doll, which I really love this shade too. It's so pretty. Um, it reminds me of a ColourPop shade I have in one of my palettes, but I don't think it's identical. And either way, I still appreciate the, the placement of the shade in here because I think it's going to really help round out this look. Especially since there's no art shade, there's no setting shade, there's no black to deepen. And I don't care about any of that. I'm good. Okay, I see a couple of spots that need just a little blending. So I'm going to take my dense brush and just hit it a little bit there. Okay, there we go. And some people say I don't blend. I just don't. Who has time for that noise? These are, these are people that are rushing out the door to get to work. I guarantee you. Okay, I'm going to go do the things and I'll be right back. It's the final look since I've done the things. Hmm. Oh, eh, dang it. Needs a quick head there. Oh, I don't know what it is. My eyelids, there's spots on them. They just don't like to take eyeshadow. Just patch that in real quick. All right, fine. Now I'm done. I have to be done. I gotta go. I hope you like the look. Do let me know below. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.